Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy, Broadway, back again, man, with another video. Did I already say that? I don't know. Welcome back to another mukbang, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that little intro I had for you guys of me waking up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I, hope, I told y'all I'm just trying to, man, be more creative and make better videos for y'all, man, so y'all can enjoy the watch, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and hit that like button for me, man. This video is gonna be dope already. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to all my new subscribers. If you're into mukbangs, you know what I'm saying? Then go ahead and subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, Chick fil A. I've been craving Chick fil A breakfast for about a couple weeks. You know what I mean? So this morning, I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm dropping two videos today, but my first one is gonna be my mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Because I got people out there that want to watch my mukbangs you know what i'm saying and to be honest when i do drop mukbangs guys i want y'all to understand like i'm really like i'm always speaking real shit but when y'all really want to get real personal and like want to talk about life and goals and just being a better person in a sense like i'm gonna talk that real you know what i'm saying my mukbang so if you interested make sure you go ahead and subscribe, man, if you haven't already, guys. But I'm almost at Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll holler at y'all when I get my food, man. Let's go! Uh, Yeah, can I get a spicy chicken biscuit with bacon and egg on it? Anything you go? Uh, yeah, can I do a uh, medium fry with that as well? Okay. Um, and let me get a four count chicken mini. Alright, they complete the order. Um, uh, and I gotta get something to drink. Uh, can I make that that combo with the. I don't know, I'm tripping. It's early in the morning. I know, my bad. Uh, let me get an orange juice. Too high. Uh, nah, that'll be all. Don't wanna see me up, but I done came so far. Big boy, Rose Rush truck, and traffic out Bogart. Got a dream over all of my Rolex watch on both arms. Come choose on live by the rules, so I bust down both phones. They ain't wanna see me. So I got my Chick Fil A, man. Let's go ahead and get that screenshot right quick. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all know what's going on, man. Got that good Chick Fil A on deck. You know what I'm saying, bro? I used to work at Chick Fil A, bro. For some of y'all that don't know, bro, my day ones I already know what's good, man. I quit Chick Fil A, bro, cause they wanted me to cut my hair, bro. And I had cut my hair once before when I you I worked for Chick Fil A twice. Yeah, I just thought about that. I worked for Chick Fil A twice. The first time I end up cutting my hair because I wanted to work at Chick Fil A. Big mistake, bro. I should have kept my hair, bro. On everything, bro. I should have kept my hair full. It's all right, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. But the second time I end up getting for Chick-fil-A, they didn't want me to cut my hair. You feel what I'm saying? But them folks wanted me to take out my nose ring and shit. And, like, for me, bro, I can't work. I can't work nowhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? That don't let me be me. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't let me be me, I can't work with you. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. Uh, what in the world? What in the world did they give me, bro? Did they give me the right order? I don't think they gave me the right order. I gotta stop my whole, bro. They didn't give me the right order, bro. They didn't give me the right order, bro. I knew it. I knew it. Because I'm missing fries. I got my... Alright, bro. Whatever, bro. So, they fucked up my order. So, even Chick-fil-A fuck up sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? So... It is what it is. I still love y'all, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video, man. So, because they just threw me all the way off. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't got no jelly or none, family. I ain't fool. What's good, bro? Well, we did. We, me and them got distracted, but because we got to talking. Like I said, I used to work there. Anyways, but in today's mood bang, bro, I want to talk to y'all about something, bro, that I had to really realize, you know what I mean? And what I had to realize was, bro, I used to be afraid of people seeing my greatness, bro. Like, I know what I'm capable of. Like, every person that's watching this video right now, bro, should know, like, they value what they bring to the table. You know what I mean? Um, if you don't, you need to really dig deep. You need to do some soul searching. You need to figure out who you are. You know what I mean? So you can love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all know how Chick fil A food, I mean, biscuits be a little, not dry, but you know, they thick. And, and the reason being, bro, is because I always felt like. It all started, bro, way back when I used to, back in school, bro. Like, for a lot of people that don't know, my pops was, like, a big-time All-American back, you know what I'm saying, in uh, college and shit when he used to hoop. And him and Penny Hardaway, shout-out to Penny, you know what I'm saying, they, they used to be real cool. And I think they still is to this day. You know what I'm saying? If they was to see each other. I don't know if they just speak on, you know what I'm saying, good terms, like, you know what I'm saying, just everyday type shit, but. But. You know what I'm saying? They was cool or whatever. And. Growing up, I always felt like basketball was going to be my thing, too, just like my pops, you know what I'm saying? Uh, unfortunately, my pops never was able to make it to the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Uh, had an opportunity to go overseas, you know what I'm saying, hoop. But I thought I was going to be able to relive that legacy and, you know what I'm saying, be that sign that goes to the NBA. Like, every, every, hold on, the police just came over. But, like, every, Oh, my train of thought. That's my train of thought. 
anyways, like I was saying, because I ain't going to worry about them. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't worried about what they got going. Because I ain't bothering nobody. You feel me? But with him being a hooper, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was going to be able to do that. So, let's, you know what I'm saying? I'm in school. I'm hooping. I'm doing my thing. Now, don't get it twisted, bro. Like, I wasn't sorry, but I wasn't just like no great basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was pretty decent. I had a jump on me. You know what I'm saying? Defense was probably like silver. Defense on silver, like so Illuminati be saying. My defense was like on silver. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my jumper was like Hall of Fame, though. Uh, my dribbling was like bronze. I really couldn't dribble like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I had a jump on me, you know what I'm saying? And my pops was an all-around player, you know what I'm saying? He had a jumper, too, though, but he was an all-around player. So, I'm realizing in high school, probably like my junior year in high school, I'm like, I'm not progressing like all the other guys that I see that levels I should be on. Or I feel like, you know what I'm saying? So, I was realizing basketball really wasn't my thing and it really wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? But, that don't mean I stopped hooping, you know what I'm saying? I kept hooping, but I just realized that hooping wasn't going to be a career for me. You know what I'm saying? And once I got past that stage of, you know what I'm saying, something I felt like I was going to do as a career, and I got past that stage, I was like, what am I going to do next? You know what I'm saying? So acting was next. Like, I always watch TV, and I always watch movies and shit, so I always wanted to, you know. Mm. I always wanted to be in a drunk. I'm all, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always wanted to be in them junk. Yeah. So, I joined theater. You feel what I'm saying? And I did only one play in theater. But it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? But the theater route was not my route. I was more TV, you know what I'm saying, film. I want more theatrical type, you know. So, with that, after I graduated, man, look at these buns. These buns look terrible. But I started going to acting class and stuff like that. So I started to pick up, you know what I'm saying, one thing about me, bro, when I want to do something, bro, I am going to put my all in it. You know what I'm saying? When I really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I am going to, I ain't going to lie, though. Since I started acting and doing YouTube and doing music, I never went like this. I never went this hard in basketball like I do with the acting, the YouTube, and the music, bro. I promise y'all, bro. I, I, I didn't gave real blood, sweat, and tears for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit. For this shit. So. I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward. I just always had. I always had flashes of seeing my greatness. And I knew. Like, I know to this day where I'm headed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I have an idea. You know what I mean? Everything that I'm pretty much doing in life, bro, I didn't manifest it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm following God's purpose and plan. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know your purpose, bro, I really advise you to, you know, really just, like I said, man, get in tune, man. You know what I'm saying? You need a purpose in life. It gives you something to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just waking up every day and not really knowing what's going on or not having nothing going on. You know what I mean? Um, With the flashes that I seen, other people seen them as well. 
But I felt like because I was around, and there's no offense, it's no disrespect or anything to the people I grew up with or been around, family members, nothing like that. But it's just like, I was always surrounded by people that really didn't have those flashes of greatness either, bro. So when I had, when I seen that I was different from everybody, it kind of made me shy, be shy of who I am and, and what I can do because I knew I was different. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all might feel that way out there. Like, y'all might feel like y'all different. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't fit in. You know what I mean? So if you feel like that, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't damn your life for others. Like, one thing I also learned, bro, like, I'm a humble person, but sometimes I'm way too humble, bro. Like, sometimes I need to pop my shit. I need to talk my shit. I need to let y'all know what's going on, because... Being too humble, bro, people uh, take that as, like, you insecure or not confident in yourself because you just way too humble. Nah, nigga. Nah, like, I'm really like that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. I just want everybody to be the best version of themselves, bro. I do this YouTube shit, bro, so I can always go back and watch myself. So my kids, when I have kids, one day can watch their daddy. You know what I'm saying? And see everything that I was doing and my grandkids and they could. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit gonna be up forever. YouTube ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? This is why I do this shit, bro. And I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all seeing a, a new version of me, the person that I want to become, I'm becoming that person right now, in the present, not in the future, not in the past. My past taught me lessons that I learned, but right now... Right now... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I know y'all probably like, damn. That nigga drink fast as hell. That nigga drink it fast. Hey, it be like that. Now I'm finna eat this sandwich. That they gave me for free. And I don't know if it's going to be good or not. It looked like a bagel with egg and cheese. It might be nasty. I don't know. Let's try it out. It's not bad. I'm just not really a big bagel fan. You know. If you're a bagel fan... Let me know down below. If you're not, let me know down below. But. Yeah. But the bagel is getting to me. It's getting kind of nasty. Can I just eat the chicken, yo? I just don't know man like i said man if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button for me man because i know you enjoyed this mukbang if you want to see more and you haven't subscribed new subscribers go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me man so y'all can see more mukbangs of me eating some food man because that was delicious i ain't gonna lie to y'all that was pretty good you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, if y'all want to see more breakfast mook bangs, let me know down below in the comments. If y'all want to see me do more lunch just let me know down below in the comments what y'all want me to do in these videos next, man. 
I got the reactions going and I got mood bangs going. Dread video still coming, bro. So make sure y'all let me know what's going on, man. And yeah, I'm out, bro. Let's go. Look, shot ahead, guys, so sloppy. I beat it up just like Rocky. She book smart, but she naughty. Got plenty tasks on her body. All that biting ain't gon' stop me. All the other bitches salty. All them other niggas salty. All them other bitches salty. Yeah.